In this Synfig tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make your first animation. We're simply going to create a circle and move it from one side of the screen to the other. This is a preview of the animation we're going to make. So I'm going to close this out and start with a new project. Click on New okay let's grab our circle tool and drag ourselves out a circle on the canvas next select our transform tool now I almost forgot the default animation time length is five seconds and I want to change that to two seconds to do that right click on your canvas go to edit properties click on the time tab and change the end time to two seconds 2s click OK now Synfig Studio has two modes editing mode and animation mode to create an animation we need to switch Synfig into animation mode by clicking this button here while you're in animating mode you want to keep an eye on the current time you can see that here. 0F means you're at 0 seconds and frame 0. Now that we're in animating mode, we need to move the circle so that it records a location for the first frame. Next, I'm going to change the current time to the last frame. You can change the current time by clicking anywhere on the time bar. Now the current time should read 2 seconds. Grab the circle and hold the shift key to move it to the right in a straight line. I'm going to click an empty area in the canvas to deselect the circle. Because we are in animating mode, it will do a process called tweening, where it fills in all the frames between the first and the last. I'm going to turn off animating mode. Now with these keys here we can get a preview of how our animation will look. Click play to see the circle go by and you can see how Synfig has filled in all the frames in between. Use the buttons on each side of the play button to scroll frame by frame through the animation. You can save your animation to a video file or preview it by right clicking on the canvas and going to file preview or file render under file render you can save your animation in different formats as a series of images or as a video file just set the options you want it to be saved as and change it to the proper file name and that's it